Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Today I want to talk with you about Vulcan Resin and their Kickstarter campaign. That's right, it's a Kickstarter campaign for resin for 3D printing. Not a 3D printer, not for some miniature campaign that you can buy into for 3D files. This is all about resin for 3D printing. And what sets this apart from other resins that are out there is that with each purchase of the resin, it comes with pre-supported files that you can download and 3D print. I think that is a fantastic and really cool idea. So this Kickstarter campaign is run by the folks over at the Atlas Support Group. This is the Discord channel that you might've heard me talk about earlier in the year when I was mentioning all about Vroom settings. It's a Discord that I belong to that you can also join in on and have wonderful discussions around 3D printing. There's lots of resin 3D printing topics that go on there. There's also a great section within that all about how you can better or support your files. And that's basically what they're known for is this group that's out there that helps other creators build pre-supported models that folks can buy and download. So when you're looking at other Patreon campaigns or other amazing modelers out there, they might reach out to the Atlas group to have three files pre-supported as just a wonderful way for someone to quickly run off and 3D print with their files. What's really cool about the Vulcan resin and what they're trying to put together here is that with each purchase of a bag of resin, you're gonna earn a Vulcan coin that you can then use to buy 3D files. Or, while I'm really talking with you here today, is that Andrew Sink and I, the makers of Resin Labs, have also joined in on the fun. This is one of the things that you'll be able to use your tokens for with purchasing resin. So assuming that you buy enough bottles of resin, you'll be able to go and buy a bundle of 3D files. Or if you're interested in a Resin Labs cable, you'll be able to get it directly through these Atlas crew here by purchasing resin. It's sort of a freebie on top of buying resin, which is amazing. So Atlas has partnered up with 3D Resin Solutions to create this new resin that they're gonna be bringing to the market through this Kickstarter campaign. And what's great is that the campaign is already fully funded and there's still a handful of days left within the campaign if you're interested in joining in. But there are tons of additional things that are gonna come with this Kickstarter campaign. And more specifically, I wanna show you some of the prints that I've been able to get off of with the resin that they've shared with me. So the first print I wanna show off here is this alien effigy file from Zane Rogers. Printed this here on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro. What was great is I was able to run this directly off of the settings that were provided to me by the Atlas team. And what's really cool about this Kickstarter campaign is that they're working on resin settings that will be directly available through Lychee Slicer. So when you're working with your different resin printers and you decide to work with the Vulcan resin, your settings will be there and ready to go. The next one was this crazy Mothman miniature. I printed this in two different sizes here, the default scale, and then one that's a whole lot larger. I think that's a 75 millimeter scale. And again, it turned out fantastic on the Elgu Mars 2 Pro in this black Vulcan resin. Details are super crisp on this. And overall, I am really happy with the results that I'm seeing with this black resin. I should also mention that with the resins that I played around with, there are no really strong fumes coming from any of the resins. It wasn't stinky at all. It didn't stink up my workspace. I didn't really notice it at all while working with them. Next, I switched over to their gray resin and printed one of their free files. By the way, they're running a full contest where you can download some of their files for free and paint this and submit it as part of the contest entry and try and win some free resin, 3D files, a 3D printer, all sorts of crazy things going on there. This was printed on the Anycubic Mono X. And again, I used the default settings that they provided to me that I was able to use and ran this print and it came out great. I did end up running into a few small issues with uh, some of the prints not properly adhering with some of the supports. But again, I think that's just gonna be a matter of further dialing in the settings based on my space and the printer that I'm working with here. And again, seeing some fantastic details on this print. So I also wanted to test printing something really big with the resin that I had on hand. So I printed one of Photos Mint's Mirmur. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the character's name from God of War. This is his bust that he recently released as part of his Patreon. And again, just looks amazing. Printed on the Mono X. I did run into in the back some slight issues with 
the supports properly adhering and sticking there. Again, it might have come down to me not properly supporting this correctly because all of the other supports stuck on perfectly throughout that print. I also like the fact that this isn't a light gray. It's more of a mid gray, if you want to call it that. It's not super dark, but it's not light either. So it helps really pick up a lot of the detail, whether you're taking photos or videos of the prints. They also sent along their Hercules resin, which is a much more flexible resin. And I printed some of these arch villain, uh, this knight figure here. I'll have this, the name up on screen. And what I was really impressed with is that, again, I just went with the settings that they provided directly on their site there. And I'm seeing a good amount of flexibility when it comes to the sword here. So this again is great for anybody that's printing miniatures or if you're printing and selling miniatures, you definitely want something that's gonna be a little bit more durable and have a little bit of flexibility when people are manhandling those miniatures, like myself, where I typically break most of the things that I'm working with. The other thing that really interests me about this resin is that it comes in these reusable baggies that the resin's gonna come in, and instead of just a one kilogram size bottle, which is typically what you see when working with different resins, and again, the samples were sent to me in bottles, not the bags, because they're still working on all the packaging and all that other fun stuff, but it's gonna be 1.5 kilograms instead of a bag. So you're slightly getting more resin than you typically would with the standard bottles that you find from other providers out there that are making resin. And one of the absolute coolest things about all of this is that they're already partnered with so many amazing creators out there that are gonna be providing files through this service. So whether you go through the Kickstarter campaign and depending on which campaign option you go with, you'll get free files and you might get a lot of free files depending on which campaign level you pledge to. But even after this campaign ends and the resin is now out in the wild and available for purchase, you're gonna be able to buy the resin and with each bottle of resin that you purchase, you get access to 3D files that you can again download and 3D print that are created from some of these amazing creators that are out there. If you're interested in more information about this Kickstarter campaign, you'll find links down below where you can find out more details about all the specifics of how you can jump in on this before the campaign fully ends. And like I mentioned, it was already fully funded. And if you wanted to jump in now, you'll be able to get a whole bunch of great freebies before the campaign ends. And yeah, I had already pre-bought into the campaign as well, so I'm pretty happy about this all around. I'm just really excited that the Atlas crew is jumping in on this that are already passionate about resin 3D printing and providing support for folks out there in the community and jumping in and trying to produce something that's a little bit different than what everybody else is doing out in the market. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of this whole model of coins and getting freebies when you buy resin. I mean, I personally love this and I think it's a fantastic way to differentiate themselves from everyone else in the market. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.